Talk to anyone pumping gas right now and they'll tell you. How much is it probably gonna cost you to fill up? More than I wanna pay. It's hard to find thankfulness with prices like this. Yeah, so I don't even celebrate Thanksgiving, but I, <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't want to drive with these prices. Alfred Hearn here. Where are you guys going? We're going to Houston. Is gassing up for a trip to H-Town to see family. 80 bucks, we heard. <laughs> AAA says the average price of gas per gallon in Texas is three bucks right now. This time last year, they say the average was $1.79. Inflation and consumer demand are to blame with more people traveling again. And believe it or not, us Texans, we're getting off pretty easy compared to other places. The national average price for gas is roughly at $3.40 per AAA. And if you're traveling to a neighboring state, take a look. Things don't get too crazy, but if you're flying to the West Coast or the Northeast and grab a rental car, things get pricier. To combat those prices, President Biden announced the release of 50 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves Tuesday. But Bruce Bullock, an energy expert with SMU, says Biden's move is mostly symbolic and may Instead, backfire. I, I'm afraid it may provoke a reaction from OPEC where they may in fact turn around and just uh, take that much production off the market, uh, which would have a counterproductive effect. And I think that's why the market reacted by going up today. But back at the pump. It, it is, we heard a little bit, but uh, we're Americans, we gotta do what we gotta do. Hearn says he's not trying to let these numbers rain on his holiday. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.